Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. How are you? Sending you the purest of love and light. If this is your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support. I really, truly appreciate you. We are on top. We're going higher. God is for us. Who can be against us? And we are highly protected as well. So like I said before, I pre-shuffle meditate over the cards again to save time so that we can get right into the word into the message all right so the first one that came out it says here love triangle third party multiple lovers and choices hmm love triangle so and the other one is bankrupt and we have wasting time in the reverse wasting time in the reverse so love triangle this could have been with someone who has a bad reputation you know could be known as a player have this player energy right so hmm, love triangle hmm. this is like being involved with people or someone who could have it could be love in the sense where it's somebody who is a player has more than one partners right so they have to spread themselves thin and themselves high and spread themselves wide so I don't know if this will relate but even if you listen just for the experience or just to learn something new but I, I wasn't preparing on this, but these cards came out. So let's talk about it. Multiple lovers and choices. And I think sometimes we get into connections where you could know that maybe persons are, are even if you don't know the whole story, but it's kind of like they come with baggage. So third party can be romantic, it can be platonic too. You know, like a person showing up who has a lot of male friends or a male friend. A man showing up with female friends or a female friend, truth. So then those person can become toxic to the relationship as well because then it's like they're vying for that person's time have you ever seen it where sometimes nothing is happening a woman could be a friends with a man and nothing is happening but as soon as the man spots a potential partner then all of a sudden or all of a sudden the female friend becomes jealous and becomes entitled the same thing can happen too with male friends where they become jealous and all in all of a sudden but i i don't think sometimes it's really genuine it's mostly because they're threatened that they're losing this person's friendship now so then they become clingy and needy and toxic i think I mean to each his own but when it comes to third parties if if this person you're meeting or if you don't have healthy boundaries it can definitely be toxic it can be bankrupt and we look at bankruptcy it can be emotional it could be financial right because then if you have to share money then you have to give money here there and everywhere if it's a case where it's love, it's like you have to feed this house, feed that house. I mean, that's not healthy. So that could leave you or that person bankrupt financially, emotionally, psychologically. They're drained, depleted. Some of you, when you meet these connections, you're saying, you know, a lot of these people, they may make it seem as if, if, they are not wasting your time, but yes, they are. So for, for this card, wasting time, which is stuck, no changes limited. 
for a lot of you, you're unstuck in yourself from these kind of things. You're, you're realizing that, no, there must be other options out there. You must make changes to your life. It's like if you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, that is insanity. And so for a lot of you, it's like you're done with people who want to waste your time. Some people, they come into your life, they don't tell you that they have baggages, they have a whole lot of family somewhere else, or dating other people, or they have persons in their life that they're connected to, and then next thing later on down the road, those people becomes a burden into your in your connection or, or in your life. So it's important to have healthy relationship, healthy boundaries. Now again, to each his own. Some people will go along with it knowing what they know and they still agree with a third party connection personally that's not good for me it's not gonna work. <laughs> personally that, that that's not gonna work for me at all and then the thing is like that some people they don't mind giving it but they can't take it and so maybe people will do this kind of thing because then on the other hand they will cheat also but i think if you want to have a stable life your peace of mind build your empire your kingdom whatever i think it's hard i know in other cult in some cultures you know this is the norm as well so this is why i say to each his own so this reading may not be for everybody but again it may just be for knowledge it may just be to hear what's going on here, right? So, Spirit, what is bankruptcy? Yeah. So, a lot of you, you're walking away from these connections. You're not interested at all. You're not interested. It's like, you're, some of you, you're either done with people who are showing up with too many baggages or you're just not entertaining it. It's like you're done with that kind of thing. It's like you know your worth, you love yourself, and you know what you desire, you know what you deserve. No, no. Again, three's a crowd. If if God is in it, that's it. But no, nobody else, right? So you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're engaging in relationships where there's good chemistry, great vibes, positive, with somebody who is actually into you. Somebody who is into you. No player energy, uh, nobody who is toxic, bad reputation. Some of these relationships, again, because think about it. If you are dating or somebody is dating multiple people, then you have to take all of these people out. That will drain you. Yeah, it's like you're done with the fake stuff. You're done with the fake smiles. Because you realize that a lot of people are not who they say they are. They're faking it. You may meet people who fake it that, again, they're single, they're stable, all of this stuff. And then only to learn that these are people with bad reputations. They have multiple lovers, third parties, choices. You know, they, they, they don't want to settle down. It's like seven of cups, which one should I pick? And it's like, why compete where you don't compare? You know, it's like when you know who you are, you know whose you are, then it's like, that's not for you. Because if anybody's going to put you into a competition, then already you kind of see what you're up against. And I mean, do you want to live that way for the rest of your life? I mean, this reading may be mostly for single people or I don't know. You could be in a relationship where you know your partner is cheating too. I mean, that's, I mean, if it's not bothering you, then I guess you're okay. But if it's bothering you, then you know that's, that, that is something that is not for you. So maybe it's time to have that talk, have that conversation and, you know, make a decision. Because if, if anybody wants to keep you up at night, if you can't sleep at night, like Fantasia sings, they keep you up at night, 
your every time the phone goes ding your nerves you know the hair on your head stand out male or female here doesn't matter then is that relationship for you you know spirit is saying you're born to shine and so your light irritates their demons so when you meet people and you tell them i am not interested sometimes they may get upset because your light irritates their demons and again this for a lot of you a lot of us this is spirit testing us too to see do you know your worth do you know that you're shining do you know that you're a star here are you going to keep on taking up meeting the same people again sometimes you end up meeting the same people because in the same energy because your energy is not changed and so it's like you're attracting it's the same spirit different body but it's the same kind of toxic player bad reputation kind of energy like I said, because if there is a lot of people in a, in a connection, then there is going to be the need to compete. And again, you shouldn't be an option. You should be a decision. And so this is why I believe that when we meet the person or if it's platonic, the people who are for us, I believe they will know us we will know them there will be no beating around the bush because i believe when god gives something he does not add any taxes there is no misery to it and i mean especially when he knows that you're doing the work you don't need to do that yeah so for some of you you will be getting an offer from somebody who is into you I mean, there's only a cup for one. Only a cup for one. Not, not a... Because you're done. You're not stuck. You know, you, you too, you have choices. So then why should you settle? Why should you settle for a love triangle, for a relationship with a third party? I mean, just to say what you have a piece of man, piece of woman is like, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, this is see the devil, bad reputation. That's toxic. You don't need that. You don't need that. It's like being chained to the devil. One more, you know, that glutton, that appetite or apislak, I should say. They can't be filled. It's like they need more and more and more. You know, so then you leave them. Let them go have more. Let them go and have what they want. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, you're not interested. So for a lot of you, you're realizing that by you being in a relationship or a partnership that is depleting you. And like when I see bankrupt there, I'm not just looking at that as past due bills, but it's especially emotionally, psychologically, physically. It's like it's taking a toll on you as a whole. This could also be affecting your, whole, your household. And a lot of you, it's like you're done with that. You're not entertaining that anymore. It's like you're saying goodbye. For some of you, God caused a tower. A tower is a sudden, a shocking movement, a shift. And so a lot of these things that are done in the dark, it's now coming to the light. Some of you, you didn't even know that the person you're dealing with is this toxic or what this was going on behind the scene and so now it's like you're done it's like everything in the closet all the skeleton people are falling out from under the bed all over the place it's like you don't have time for it and then yeah the star somebody again well i can't show it all because it's you know no clothes but yeah the star it's like you're a star, right? They can't stop a star from shining. And it's like some of you, you're out in the public as well, but you're healers, you're light workers. It's like you have a calling on your life. 
And so for a lot of us, a lot of you, you're probably before you meet this soulmate or this kingdom partner, you dealt with somebody who is toxic, somebody who has bad reputation, who is dealing with or who dealt with a lot of third parties. They had you in this thing we're juggling. And a lot of you, you walked away. You're not interested in that. They're playing games. You know, it's like they're users. Yeah, when I see bankrupt, I see users as well. And you're like, you know what, I'm done. I, you know, I don't have any more time for you to waste. It's like, clearly this person doesn't know your worth. You're a star. For some of you, you heal this person as well. You help them. But now it's like you're meeting somebody who is into you. Somebody who is a healer, you know, with the same quality or qualities as you do. I have to turn the card around, guys, because... You know, it's nudity. Yeah, the moon. The moon. It's like, like I said, a lot of things were done in the dark or been done in the dark without you even knowing it. I mean, see the creature walking out the water. For some of you, this person could have even caught something. You know, like crabs or some form of STD, SDI. These are the things that from having love triangle, it's kind of like, what do you expect? This person is fake. They go around, they have a nice smile, they charm people, and so they get people to fall for them. And this beneath the devil, the moon with the devil, this person could have also been using like love magic in order to trap or to trap partners as well using love spells to entice to 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 elude people to entice people in in their traps in their web of lies as well yeah because it's like with that beautiful smile who would know what is going on boiling underneath all of that all the lies illusions are lies this person was probably doing a lot of moon magic as well in order to to track people. Yeah, the sun, isn't the sun on top of shine? So for a lot of you, you're light workers, you're healers. And no wonder God stepped in here to bring clarity. Some of you, this is the clarity that you're getting now. So you know who you were dealing with, who you are dealing with now. The sun is here. You're abundant. Spirit is saying you're settling or you were settling. This person was leaving you bankrupt in many or different areas of your life. It's kind of like if you're in a relationship and then you have somebody who is cheating. They're taking the money outside. Then you realize that causes stress within the household in the home you can't pay the bills because he he or she's busy courting or dating somebody else so i think it's important for us to have healthy boundaries what we will or will not tolerate and so this is a part of us manifesting this is part of us doing the work in ourselves as well so that we can level up so that way god will provide for us the person who is suitable for our soul who is compatible for us yeah see judgment yeah so it's like this is an awakening so yeah it's like a lot of you know like major things happening here it's like god saw that you were somewhere that was not suitable for your soul and it's like a wake-up call it's like answer the call it's like i have more for you i know the plans i have for you to bless you to prosper you and not to harm you it's like i have something better on the other side someone who is suitable for your soul 
something, whatever it is, other people. And so, yeah, God closed out this cycle here with this toxic person. God closed this out with the world. A successful wrap up is like it's, it is finished so that you can have true love. True love, not, not lovers, but true love. One cup each, not even 50% each, 100%. You're no longer interested in all of those stuff. And this is why the tower came. Some of you, is like you met this person. It was like from out of nowhere. You just went to the store. You went somewhere and then boom. Because again, it's after we learn our worth. We love ourselves. You're not out prowling, trolling. And then God sees, okay, it's like, now you're ready. Now you're ready. And so this is why it comes from out of the blue. Because you don't expect it. You didn't even look for this. Yeah, where you can celebrate. Three of cups, not like that triangle there. You know, this is like your soul tribe. We have <laughs> this fake smile person with the moon. It's like you're not interested. There is like that, it, the offer is coming in and you're not interested. You're not interested. Yeah, no more seven of cups. You know, this is what spirit is shining the sun on. It's like you are done with people who put you in a category of, you know, where they can pick different people, choose, and you should sit there and wait until they come back. But it's like now the sun is shining here and see out of all of them, in every cup it's something different. You have like a snake, you have a crocodile, you have some fake jewelry, different things. But see this cup, it's like it's in plain sight. This is what the sun is shining on for you here. You see it has the, the fuzz like the halo. This is coming from God. So this is like a kingdom spouse, kingdom partner that divine has for you. Yeah, it's like for some of you, some of us with the five of cups here, you have been crying, looking at the relationships, the connections that you have lost, the people who came into your life and emotionally abused you, left you emotionally bankrupt. And no, it's like God is saying, look behind you, I have two cups. Look, see two cups? Two cups. I have two cups right there behind you. Stop crying over spilt milk. Yesterday is gone. It's like this is the judgment call. I have an, a new offer for you. I have a new offer for you. Yeah, see? Six of cups, you know, something where you can also create nostalgia. Some people look at this six of cups as in like a past life relationship. Not everybody believes in that, but it's like it was meant to be. It's like in another life, you know, but for some people, it could be just crying over the people you invested in in the past as well. Yeah, it's like God is giving you this holy grail. It's a brand new offer of love. Yeah, and this will only happen after you walk away from what no longer serves you. Even though you invested a lot into other people, eight of cups, eight out of 10, it's a lot. But see, you still have two cups. You still have two cups. All is not lost, divine is saying. There is still two cups there. You can build back. And, and, and he's saying, as a matter of fact, I'm giving you the Holy Grail. This is coming from me. This is like the stamp of approval because I see that you have done the work. You deserve best. See this? Nine. Wow. Nine of cups. I mean, like I said before, this comes after a time of you loving yourself, pouring on yourself, knowing your worth, filling your own cups. Then you have the ten of cups. Ten of cups. Yeah. So divine is saying... It's like little is much when God is in it. So we have the page of cups. So everything has to start small, right? Hi, how are you? Greetings. <laughs> you know, you start small. 
and then right behind it we have the knight of cups wow queen of cups king of cups isn't this awesome see still two cups one cup here and she has one cup here see one cup each so it's like don't cry over spilled milk see this is the truth this is the truth and the clarity i love it i think it's a good reading yeah this came after a time of being trapped in your head and like i said for some of these people they were using black magic too in order to keep your track you were you know heartbreak see that's what i'm talking about having you bankrupt betrayal heartache heart pain you know it's like <laughs> these people had you laid out see a lot of conflict and god and your ancestor had to move you away to from you know to calmer waters here you're done with the trickery the player energy is like no you know your worth you know what you deserve you are love you deserve love i love love i love it for you too wow thank you so very much if you made it to the end please remember to like share and subscribe look at this il five of swords with the same conflict that we look at earlier so we saw the five of cup five of swords earlier talk about conflict because again if you're in love triangle it's conflict right problem god the highest being desire to know the acquisition of wisdom so like i said for for, for a lot of you it's like god wanted you to know what you were into and so this is why the tower came god the highest being desire to know so some of you you probably were praying asking god to show you if this is the person for you and you got clarity on it and so this may be why there's a shake up but there's definitely a revelation because god is saying if you're in a relationship and you're going through this it's like you deserve better you are a star we have great cards here for you you're a star you shine your light irritates their darkness i mean the sun came out for you the ace of cups came out for you you're a king or queen of cups god showed up with the tower for some of you it is you finding out you know that this person have you in in a love triangle for some of you this is confirmation that you have gone through all of those and then god wrapped up that cycle you went away you heal you cried your last tears and now you're moving on to bigger and better things here wow this is good this is good yeah god the just judge contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings yeah so maybe some of you you went through a divorce as well or you're going through this right now you know god is here for you he's showing up on your behalf god the just judge i mean he's not going to allow his people to go through toxic connections where they keep on getting used and abused it's like after a while whether you do it he's gonna do it he's going to force it where something happened we are like with the tower all the secrets and all the stuff in the background it will come to light wow this is good i love it i love it for you love it for us until next time take care and be blessed